Okay. Loading. Please, 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 please work. Still loading. Let me just make sure. Okay. I think that is better. Okay. Happy New Year and Happy Monday. During this live, I want to briefly discuss how to motivate yourself to get dressed. So in our new normal, you're working from home. Some days you're on Zoom, some days you're not. Maybe you're still going into work in person on occasion. Like most of my clients, you may feel like, who's going to see me? Why bother getting dressed? And I notice, especially during January, we tend to feel bleh about our wardrobe and it's gray outside, the holidays are done, it's a new year, and we don't feel as inspired with our closet. So I want to give you a few tips on how to motivate yourself to get dressed each day. But before we dive in, I wanted to give you a quick introduction. I'm Emmeline Chapel, and I'm a certified personal stylist. I have my own company called Emma Lines Personal Styling, and I help busy women elevate their style to discover a new way of dressing to look luxe for less. So today I want to briefly discuss how to motivate yourself to get dressed. So first things first, get out of this mindset of it doesn't matter, no one's going to see me. My motto has been get dressed for yourself. Do it for yourself because why not? Dressing to only impress yourself can feel pretty liberating and I challenge you to try it. My second tip is to plan and style your outfit the night before. So this is something that I've been practicing since middle school. It makes getting dressed much easier the next day to have everything planned out. My third tip is make getting dressed an actual routine. So set your alarm, take 20 minutes, put some music on, and take this time to have fun getting dressed. Let this be a time each day dedicated to you and have your own little fun fashion show. Having this routine or this daily ritual you can count on will kickstart your day and energize your mood. So my next few tips have to do with selecting pieces that will keep you motivated during your day. So tip four is to pick comfortable favorite pieces to wear. So when it's an outfit that is both comfortable and also incorporates some of your trusty go-to favorite pieces, you can't go wrong. Tip five is set a day dedicated to a specific piece. So maybe make Wednesdays your day that you wear dresses or Fridays are your jean days. So I like to do this with my wardrobe because it helps me not take getting dressed so serious and embrace the fun of fashion. Tip six is pick an outfit or pieces that will evoke how you want to feel. So the night before, think about how you want to feel in the morning after getting dressed and let that guide your wardrobe choices. Maybe that's color or a blazer or a certain accessory. Get dressed keeping in mind how you want to feel. Getting dressed with intention shows yourself and the world that you're important by taking the time and the effort. You deserve to give yourself the attention and affirm to yourself that you deserve to look and feel good. Take it from me, I do this every day, no matter my schedule, whether I'm on Zoom or not, meeting with people in person, or solely working from home, just me, myself, and I. It will physically and psychologically make you feel better about yourself. Look at getting dressed as a daily form of self-care. Because as busy women, we tend to let self-care fall by the wayside, but getting dressed is a great form of self-care. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment or send me a direct message and I'll answer you as soon as possible. If you would like any help with your personal style or your wardrobe, please reach out through my website. Thanks so much.